Okay, my boo, what is up? What is up? Today, I don't have much in the fridge, and that is because I'm leaving in a few days. And so today, <laughs> I wanted to show you guys something. I wanted to show you guys how exactly, oh, I gotta put the dishes away. Does anybody feel like it's a never end? Life is just a never ending pile of dishes. Like, why are there so many dishes for just one person? Anyway, focus, focus, focus. Today, I want to show you how to open coconuts. Now, excuse me if I'm not myself. I'm trying not to be fake anymore in my life and shove down my emotions. Uh, I have to leave in a few days to empty out my mom's apartment. Many of you guys know my mom passed away recently, as did my grandma as well. Um, and so it's not an easy time for me at the moment. Um, but nobody said life was going to be easy. No, no. In fact, we all know life is hard. And um, a good friend of mine helped me, is helping me to realize that uh, everything is for a reason. Uh, everything is in divine timing, even death. And I, in fact, did, did sign up for this. We signed up for our lives. We chose our parents. We chose our country. We chose our sex. We chose our, our circumstances. We chose our life. We chose it before we came here. And um, I truly do believe in that. And even though it's very difficult and hard to face, um, yeah, I'm, I'm facing it. I'm doing it. And so I think this video is about coconuts, so let's continue on the coconut journey. Okay, guys, thank you for still being here with me. Thank you for everything. Uh, and so now, if you find, if you happen to be lucky enough to get this into your life somehow, <sighs> unbelievable that I actually have coconuts in my life now because remember, I was raw vegan for nine years in New York City. I would never even dream of getting fresh coconuts, but I made the moves. I made the sacrifices to move to Florida, and so now I do have them, and I'm very grateful, and here's what you do. You just twist it, boo. You twist your coconut to take them off, okay? You can also use a knife, but I like to twist, okay? So you can use a knife, but twisting works as well. Keep it a little safer, especially around kids, okay? And I'm gonna show you this tool that I use that I would so highly, highly recommend. You can't, unfortunately, bring it on a plane, okay? So if you twist, it will come off. I'm just gonna do all of them since I'm leaving anyway. I don't wanna leave coconuts in the fridge. Um, there's a tool that I bought on Amazon. It's about $8. I think you get two of them in the mail, two of them uh, for $8. And I highly recommend it because it's the safest, easiest way to open coconuts, but unfortunately, it is a weapon. So. Listen, if you're going on vacation for a week or two to Florida or to Puerto Rico or to Hawaii where coconuts grow, those are the only three places where coconuts grow in the United States, I would recommend ordering this tool and having it delivered to your hotel room. Seriously, it's so valuable. Ugh. okay, so there you go. There's the coconuts, and then we have this crazy looking thing. I don't know what to do with that. I usually just throw it away, put it in, put it in um, somebody's lawn or something. And so here we go. Okay, so what I personally like to do is, I personally like to get my mason jar. Oh no, I forgot to turn the dishwasher on last night. Woo! I hate when Awa does that. Awa does that sometimes. I rarely, whoa, I gotta turn it on. Okay, so I like to get my mason jar, and then I also have a strainer, okay? So get your mason jar and your strainer, okay? Um, and then what I'm going to do is uh, I am going to try, try my very best to keep it so that it doesn't make a big mess because I, I just, I cleaned because I'm leaving and I don't want to clean again. But here we go. Here's the tool, my friend. I have a few of these tools. This one's actually in a weird shape. Where's the other one? I kind of destroyed all of them. <laughs> Look at this. It's not supposed to be that shape. I kind of did that to all of them because I have another one too somewhere because over the years I just get a little violent <laughs> with my coconuts, I guess. So here you go. 
It's very simple, very easy. Wow, four minutes in, five minutes in, and we haven't opened the coconut yet? Okay, guys, here we go. You're gonna put this underneath the flower. You're trying to expose this part of the coconut. Now, I do have a friend, or an ex-friend, Frank, who can do this with a key. You can do this with a set of house keys, but be careful. So you, you pop off the top, and then all you're gonna do is, you're gonna simply put this in like this, press down, and usually the water will explode out. It's the best idea is to do this outside, you know? I'm sure Awa is watching this, and <laughs> Awa, I'm gonna clean, I promise. <laughs> then what I like to do is flip it upside down with the strainer, because sometimes there is like some fibers and different things that come out of the coconut, and you don't want that. Now, let's continue on our journey, opening all these coconuts. But here's what I would recommend, okay? Because, I, you know, I'm an aficionado of the coconut life. Try it. Sometimes coconuts are bad, okay? Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. Wow. But if it wasn't good then I would just throw that away. I wouldn't mix the water, right? Because right now, I'm gonna put all the coconut water in. But a better way, to be honest, guys, here's what I should have taught you to do. Grab a straw, grab a straw, and try it before you add it to the other coconut water. <sighs> yeah, that's good. Mm, that didn't have much coconut water, did it now? Mm. There's a lot of meat in there, I see. But personally, I don't open it to get to the meat because I can't. <laughs> to get to the meat, guys, you will need a machete. And unfortunately, I do not have that yet. But one day, perhaps... Oh my god. <laughs> one day, perhaps... You guys saw that, right? One day, perhaps, one of you guys will buy me a machete for Christmas. Donate down below <laughs> so I can get a machete. No, I wouldn't even know what to do with it if I had it. I mean, I've seen people open, open coconuts, but it's not for me. It's way too dangerous. Okay, and this one had a lot of water, all right? So you never know what you're gonna get with these coconuts. Um, you just don't wanna get the really, really small ones, okay? Because those are usually not mature enough to even have any water. I've definitely opened coconuts that had no water before, so. Be careful there. And how to, how to pick out your coconuts, because they sell these in the stores here, by the way. They sell these in the stores. And, um, oh wait, maybe I should save this one for my roommate. She's coming home soon. No, nah, it won't last. It won't last. Like, she won't know how to open it. She's lost without me. She won't know how to open it. She's gonna be scared to use this tool. No, 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 no. Oh yeah, so I was teaching you guys how to open coconut, uh, how to pick out your coconuts because remember, uh, you can buy these in the store in Florida, but they're not exactly gonna <laughs> always be good. And so what I would recommend is always look for ones that look a little beat up. This is actually a really good thing. You don't want them to look too new and shiny. Also, the yellow colored coconuts are usually sweeter than the green. Everyone thinks that they're like bad. No, they're actually really, really, really good. Okay, so that's that. Let me try this last one. Mmm, so good. Okay, guys, maybe I'll keep this for my roommate, actually. I'll, I'll see what I can do to make it last. Um, sometimes, well, like lemon or lime helps to preserve things, but then it like ruins the flavor of the coconut water. Oh, so good. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be able to, to help her. But I'll get her coconuts when I come back. I love you guys so much. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'm gonna drink this full 32 ounces of coconut water. And um, remember, coconuts are extremely powerful. If you cannot get fresh coconuts though, I would skip it. I would skip it because the coconut water in the store, pasteurized, not worth it. The only coconut water in a bottle 
that actually has any enzymes in it, any life force, would be a frozen coconut water. So like, there was a company called Exotic Superfoods, and I do not think they're still in business, but they used to sell unpasteurized coconut water, and I'm so grateful to them because I had them for like a long time in New York, okay, until they went out of business. I'm pretty sure they did go out of business, but maybe they came back. So anyway, this is what I'm having for um, my pre-breakfast, 32 ounces of coconut water, and then I'm going to have this papaya, okay? Now, I've been looking at this papaya for a long time now. Is it ripe? Yeah, I think it is because it smells, but I like it to be super, like, looking real moldy, real crazy, because when it's moldy, 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 it's really good. But as long as it's a dark color, there's no green anywhere, it does smell on the outside. You can put your thumb in there. Mm, my, my nails. <laughs> I stopped painting my nails, so now I'm kind of embarrassed about them. But if you can put your finger in there, that's a good sign. I'm probably going to open this up today, eat it today. It's probably going to be good. And yeah, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, boo.